We're down here in Marathon and uh, Boot Key Harbor, and they have a monthly nautical flea market. So everybody brings stuff off their boat to sell it and look for stuff to buy, bring back on their boat. This is what we found. LED lighting for our galley. This is, this is currently our light for our galley. It is an LED. It's over the, you know, the left side of the sink and it's always dark around the stove in our prep area. So we're gonna put some new lighting in. We actually got six of them. I think we paid 50 bucks for the six and we're gonna mount these up here so they'll be a low profile. I actually have these in my, my uh, hardware bag, spare stuff. It is a two, three position switch on, off, and on. And I'm actually gonna mount that up here so that we don't have to run to the electric panel over there every time I wanna turn the lights on. And uh, I'll be able to hook up, I'll be able to hook up the blue on one side and the whites on the other. And I'll have them separated, but also have them switched. So I've laid out a Spot for the switch. Once I get that opened up, that'll be uh, be able to pull my wire on the other side. Oh, well, there you have it guys. I got the first hole cut. My switch will go in. I'm not going to push it in because it will lock. Lock in position. be a little harder to get out. But with this set, set up, I'll only have to put in one hole. Um, and I can run the wires to the other lights from here to there. So next I found these little caps. I drilled a hole in the center of them. The wire is going to go through there. This is going to push up into the, uh, let me show you. My wire. Let me go up here. This is on each side of the switch. We go in there. This will lock like so. And then my light will lay sideways like that. I'm gonna go like that, and this will go all the way in when I uh, after I get my ends on, connect my switch, and I'll push that in. Well, so the next next thing I have to do is uh, the pigtails for the hooking up the wire on the end of these is kind of short, and I've got two of the lights that are spread apart, probably close to two feet, and I have cut the excess off to use it. And I'm using these shrink butt connectors to uh, put that together. So I like to have it sealed up. And with my crimpers. So there they are. And this is uh, what I was talking about, the shrink, shrink connector. Rings around that wire and it makes it sealed airtight. And that'll get me my extension over to it. And then I'm going to put, uh, we'll wind up putting these. female spade connectors on the end. Same thing, I'll shrink those up. All 
All right, I'll make up two more of those and we'll be good to go. You see the corner snapped in. So there we go. Yes. It's a low profile. All right, guys, now I gotta run a wire across the top of that. So, you see that string going in? Well, it took about four hours. Not really, but. I got my line running in. I had to pull the light off so I could help work this down. And I got all the string running all the way down in my switch area so I can pull my wire back. That was the hardest part. Yeah, let's see about pulling the wire. For hooking this thing up, I got these double pull, double throw switches. I paid like nine bucks for it. I've taken my uh, meter and set it to continuity. What that means if I touch the ends of it, that means it's going, it's got a link all the way through. And what it means, it means if I touch that, I've got continuity running through. That means power is going from, from point to point. I flip this switch and it's giving me power. It would completing a circuit from here to here. I go the other way. There's no circuit there, but it's completing a circuit on this one. So when I throw the switch, the center one is activated to one side or the other. And I can hook up my power to my, um, my blue light on one side and uh, the two whites on the other side. But also, so I don't have to have a buzz bar, I've got this opposite side, which is a, like I said, a double throw, double pull, is I have no power from one side to the other. So these are being dependent. And what I'll wind up doing is putting my hot side on one side and my ground on the other. And that will break the ground, but also break the hot. And uh, I don't have to have a separate buzz bar inside of there. So the way I'll wire it up is my supply will come into the center. And then the uh, demand for the, each light will go on each side. So one side will have my two whites and one side will have the blue. And the same with the opposite would be for the ground. And so I've got my switch wired up. I've got my ground on one side and my hot all on the other. And I'm gonna test it. One way goes my blue light, and the other way does my white lights together. I don't think that's gonna be nice. I don't have to worry about that. This is up inside where it's unexposed to anything. And there we go. Nice clean look from the side. I'm like it. I like it a lot. So I wanted to show you our existing lighting. I don't know if you can tell. It's just kind of dark. Got the uh, 
new switch in. There's our blue light. You can see, we see the dirt now. you say? Need new lights in the kitchen? No. I mean, no. No. I didn't say anything. What'd you say? Alright, hey, got another job. But what did you say when you saw these? What? When you found these, you said it would be fun. It would um, be a nice project. Uh, fun? <laughs> it would be I said fun. <laughs> Okay. It would be a fun project. I'm gonna see about mountain nose. I'm gonna run a wire from there all the way around to my electric panel. And we're gonna get that happening. And hopefully we'll have some uh, uh what do you call it? Mood lighting? Yes, ambiance. Ambiance. Alright, we're gonna get started.